Welcome back to another video guys, it's Blaze and Nintendo is cracking down on the Switch hacking scene with two brand new lawsuits but before we get into it, smash that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, hit me up in the comments down below and tell me what you think of this. This video was sponsored by NintendoRadar.com, the best community forum to talk about everything related to Nintendo. Sign up now, it takes literally 5 seconds and also check out our blog NintendoFresh.com for the latest, freshest Nintendo news. So that is NintendoRadar.com for the forum, NintendoFresh.com for the vlog. Let's get into the video. So for those of you who didn't know, the Nintendo Switch was hacked back in 2019, with users able to run custom and pirated software by simply shorting one of the little pins on the side of the Joy-Con rail and injecting custom code onto the system. Now one of the notorious hacks was called SXOS and it came from an, an anonymous hacking group calling themselves Team Executor. Now Team Executor required users to pay for their software and they did this by selling keys that activated the software, kind of like Microsoft Windows used to do. Um, and they also sold a USB stick that installed the software onto the Switch. And they, they did this through, a, they sold these through a variety of resellers to circ circumvent the obvious legal issues. Well, it's those resellers that Nintendo are targeting with these lawsuits. I wouldn't want to be them right now. Now, they failed the first lawsuit on Friday in an Ohio court against a defendant called Tom Diltz Jr. who supposedly owns and runs a website called Uber Chips. The second lawsuit was filed in Seattle the same day um, against a number of anonymous defendants from a selection of websites, all of which sell SXOS products from Team Executor, both software and hardware. Now, Nintendo's legal team state that Tom Diltz Jr. and Uber Chips LLC operate a website through which they offer devices to the public, the sole purpose of which is to hack the Switch in order to allow people to play pirate pirated games. Um, they mention Team Executor as well, they mention how they unlawfully design and manufacture an un unauthorised operating system and piracy tools to install it. Now, Nintendo's legal team noted that 20 million of their Nintendo Switch consoles manufactured before June 2018 are vulnerable to the first hack that they released. And unfortunately for Nintendo, um, the 35 million new consoles sold since they patched it are now vulnerable to a new hardware hack that Team Executor have announced and are already selling devices for. Um, so basically every Nintendo Switch now is vulnerable to a hack apparently um, and they basically announced that they're going to go after everyone trying to resell this this hack. Um, you can read the lawsuits obtained by Polygon by clicking the link down below in the description. Um, but yeah guys, Nintendo are seeking damages of $2,500 per sale. Um, so that's going to be pretty damn painful for the for this Tom Diltz Jr. guy. Um, Nintendo, when Nintendo sues someone, they really crack down hard on them. Um, but yeah, guys, they're seeking court orders to block the further sale of all team executor hacking devices and software from identified retailers, and they're trying to get their hands on and seize all the hardware and software and destroy it, presumably. Um, but yeah, guys, ouch. So if you were into the hacking scene, it looks like it's just about to be over now. Um, I know a lot of people did genuinely try and hack their Nintendo Switches so they could run Android and do a lot of legal stuff, you know, just install um, non-pirated content like custom apps, emulators, ROMs and stuff like that. But it seems now that hacking the Switch is going to be a lot harder. There's going to be a lot of legal consequences now for resellers who sell both the, the activation keys for the software and the hardware devices that you use to hack the Switch in the first place. I know Linus Tech Tips actually did a video showing people and explaining how to install Android on your Switch and I did I do believe it used a similar sort of method to this. So how this impacts people that want to do non um, non illegal stuff to their Switch, I don't know, but it's not looking too hopeful. But anyways guys let me know down below in the comments what you think about this. Um are you affected by this? Are you disappointed? Um at the end of the day Nintendo's just trying to protect you know protect their Switch and protect their bank balance really because the more people that pirate games the less money Nintendo makes and the less money developers make. So guys thank you for watching this video. I love you, I appreciate you and I hope you subscribe, I hope you like this video and I hope you leave a comment down below giving me your opinion and I hope you return for the next video. Thank you guys, see you in the next video. Peace out.